Hi, I'm Abby and this is Abby's Den. Welcome. Today I want to talk to you about these little beasts. They're seam guides and but they've got the magnetic um, attachment to them. So they're magnetic seam guides. They're provided by lots of manufacturers in the haberdashery field. And I've got two here. I've got um, a hemline one, I think it is, and it's not very powerful. So it does move around a little bit. And I've got another one from Prim, which is can you see the difference in the magnet The magnet that's in there? There's a big difference between those two. So this one won't be as powerful as that one, but I like these ones because they hold really securely to the machine. So what people are worried about is whether these or not ruin the electronics. Now, I just want to make a point of showing you. So if I've got some ball bearings here, these are carbon steel. Incidentally, these are used in my pattern weights. And they give a really nice good weight rather than food stuff. Let's be environmentally friendly guys. So can you see if I move that around you can see that it really is a magnetic. You can see all that moving around and I've got a magnet in that one as well. So you might be able to see. Move my fingers out the way. There you go. Okay so these are quite strong and they hold on there to the ball bearing so they're quite strong just to prove a point okay so if I pop it on the machine so whichever machine we use them on it's not it really isn't going to do any damage so I'm going to scare you now I'm going to actually put it on the computer components now let me just explain what a computer uh, component inside there is it literally is a piece of plastic called the breadboard and on there there's some zinc and copper um, which is used and sometimes gold to make up the computer chip um, board so that's how you can tap these buttons and get oh it's screaming at me don't do this it how it gets it to respond to um, what you need it to do and the same on this now this is quite an expensive machine in comparison to that and that's still quite an expensive one and dare I close your eyes this is a scary one um, I can put that on there and it's not doing anything. The beep that was, was because I pressed it with my thumb. So you can actually do that. There it is. It is, it is responding because I'm actually, I think that there's a part of that jutting out, which is pressing onto the button. So there we go. And, but while that's on there, it's not going to respond because it's a touch button. So if I press now it can work okay so nothing's happened to it no damage now let's go for that one so if I go back to the main screen on that oh it's telling me to do all sorts of things so if I now go back to home and then pop that on there oh I tap the button and just pop that on there it sort of slides down but it's holding it's magnetically holding on to the computer components in there um, and this is only reacting because I'm tapping it with my fingers in in the efforts to show you but those computer components aren't very strong and I've actually put it against my phone but I can't do it on my phone because I'm recording this um, I will give you an incident where magnetic fields do interfere. Now, um, just over the last few days, I've been away and stayed in a hotel and I stupidly, and I know this, I stupidly put my hotel key card against my phone in my pocket. And the key cards have these mag magnetic stripe, uh, strips on the back. My phone deactivated the, the magnetic strip so the magnet the force in the phone was stronger than the key card so it wiped the key card um so i couldn't get into my room which was not funny <laughs> when you get that late at night so um all the household magnets that you've got around should be fine if you're going to work in an industry and have huge magnets then maybe you will find that you you know you could be damaging your machine but the kind of uh, magnets that you might find in a sewing room or in a children's playroom are not strong enough to cause any damage to your machine 